Hi folks, Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell. Well, folks, we're liable to sell anything, but principally we sell diesel trucks, one of every kind. We try to find trucks that that the average person can afford, that uh, are good solid trucks, nice trucks, pretty trucks, but they don't cost you an arm and a leg, because if you've been down to your local dealer, you know what these diesel trucks cost. Today we're going to list a really good truck, a nice truck, 2003 Ford F-250, turbo diesel, four-wheel drive, Lariat package, nice looking truck, folks, got a great stance to it and all that. It has been, it's only got 272,000 miles on it, but it's deleted, so you don't have to worry about that. But this is a good truck that anyone can afford, and if you need a good solid work truck, hunt, fish, work on it, whatever you need to do, I mean, you need to look at this. It's going to be a bargain in the back. Got a good stance to it, so I guess it's got, a, what, a four-inch lift kit? It's got a maybe a two or three. But you can see here, folks, and no rust issues or any of that. It's a local southern truck. Now, that's just the paint peeling on those Rancho shocks. They all the, do that. Uh, it's got a set matching set of tires. Pretty truck. Stands up good. The interior is really nice looking here. Headliner's good. Lariat package. These are the original seats you can see here. Carpet's nice. Windows, door locks, tilt crew, stereo. Good, solid truck. Got everything here. It's not not beat up, never been a work truck or a farm truck. You can look all up in here and you can see there's no mud issues. You can't get that out once it's been there. Uh, so it's been a local truck that someone's used. It, that seat's really nice back here. Sliding rear window, armrest, southern truck, no rust in the cab, no rust in the doors, no rust anywhere. You see the truck, the, the bed line there. Nothing's been in it jerking it around. Back here, looks good under there. I do have a spare to go in it. See that? Not beat up, so it's not been out on the gravel and all that. It's the only thing on it, this little spot right here. It's not beat up, bumper's not bent and skewered and all that. That's so nice and smooth. Good bed liner. Works just like it should. Down the side, once again, FX4, four-wheel drive, package. Uh, it's got a full four-inch turbo back exhaust, like new, may even be brand new, really. It's not beat up, chipped up, and all that, folks. That's a good thing about it. You can see the trim on the interior, how nice it is. We're looking here. Once again, the dash is not peeled, cracking, and all that. Got power on both sides. You see it working here. The carpet, and that carpet's nice. The headliner is great. Pictures very rarely show it. It looks like stained, but it's not. In here, once again, no dust, mud, and all that. Your glove box. In here, it's clean. Look down in here and see how clean that is. Look okay. See up under here. No rust. Chrome's good. It's not chipped and beat up. Glass is good. Pretty nice truck, folks. 2003 Ford F 250 Turbo Diesel Lariat. FX4 four, four wheel drive. Got all the buttons on the inside. The leather's nice. Setting on a matching set of tires. Got a good stance to it. I mean, this is a pretty good, solid truck. We like it uh, for for what it is, folks. I mean, it's a, it's a truck that anyone can afford, and if you need a truck, I mean, this would be perfect for you. You don't want to have to mortgage your savings account for it. Nice 03 Lariat FX4. Thanks for watching our video, folks. We do appreciate it. Look forward to visiting with you about this truck. Seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thanks. Hi folks, Dan Dell here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive. Before I do, I just want to show you a few things under the hood. First of all, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how it came in. So even though it's a little dirty, a little dusty, 
it's not covered in mud that's the main thing because you can tell when the truck spent a lot of time out in the mud because all these bare aluminum pieces get a brown patina that you can't clean off and this one doesn't have that the main thing i want to show you though is you can see i take the cap off and just a tiny whiff of smoke although the smoke's not a big deal as long as it's not puffing the main thing is you see i set the cap down it doesn't blow off that means there's no blow by blow by is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase it's not necessarily the sign of a bad engine but the sign of wear that this truck doesn't have so anyway now we're going to take it for a spin okay now we're in the truck you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because i'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of jackson you can see it's got a uh, jvc stereo with pandora ipod mode all that other good stuff aux in usb it has a remote uh, don't know if that goes with it but it has a remote it has power pedals uh, tow haul now that boost gauge just so you know that boost gauge does not work so I haven't messed with it um, the only thing I know of in the truck that doesn't work is the little readout for the uh, fuel economy compass and stuff those things are always out on these trucks and basically there's a guy on eBay for like $17 you can send it to him and he'll solder a few connections back together and uh, you'll be good to go if you're worried about it. Um, we don't know who's worried about it and who ain't, so we just leave that alone now. Um, truck doesn't pull to the left or right, doesn't vibrate or pull when I hit the brakes. And you look at the steering wheel, I don't know how well it shows up. The steering wheel's in great shape, not ripped or torn or any of that. Uh, dash is not healing or anything uh, it's missing a little knob for power window switch but the, the little thing still sticking up so you can still use it um, and the mirrors work fine I should say mirrors not windows uh, it does have automatic headlights it's got fog lights um, tilt wheel cruise control tinted windows really not a whole lot to nitpick on this truck there is i don't know if you can see it it's in the pictures there's one little ding in the hood nothing major and uh a few little scratches that we touched up and, and really that's about it um this truck has obviously spent most of its life out on the highway because you don't get on a truck with 272,000 miles you don't get one with an interior looking like this if it's been somebody just you know daily driving it to school or to work or whatever um just the, the regular wear and tear would be way worse so um this truck fires right up hot or cold no uh cold start issues on it so you don't have to worry about that um like i said it has a brand new four inch exhaust all the way out so uh it's not loud at all it has been deleted and you know six o's they have a bad reputation and but that's from two things first of all it's from dgr coolers they're just not a good design and second of all you, you gotta maintain them you can't just keep the oil topped off like you could a 7.3. You have to keep them serviced, change the oil every 5,000 miles, change the uh, fuel filters every other oil change, and these things can run as long as you want. Just, I mean, practically forever. I'm not going to guarantee anything, but we've had them with four and 500,000 miles are running great, but they were serviced, and that's what it boils down to. You got to keep them serviced. You got to delete the EGR cooler. Um, that removes the weak point from the engine because they're bad about they crack they start letting water into the engine water doesn't compress so people keep driving they don't notice it and once it gets bad enough uh it stretches the head bolts blows the head gases or they put a tune on it crank up the power and get the cylinder pressures too high and they screw it up so um, this truck 
doesn't have that issue. It's got a little toe tune on it, nothing serious. Um, can see the uh, little green lights on for the cruise because I got the cruise on. The cruise works. The air, of course, is ice cold. That's the first thing we check down here is the air conditioning. Um, runs great. Haven't found anything on this truck that doesn't work like it should. Now that's not to say you might not find the bulb or something minor that I missed, but we try and, and pick all the nits because I don't want to risk bad feedback over, you know, something silly like a uh, turn signal out or uh, whatever. So if we know of any problems, we try and point them out in the video and. Uh, if we find any after that, we put them, we point them out in the, the eBay listing, so you know there's no confusion. If you want to fly down here to Jackson, Mississippi, and pick up this truck, and drive it home, you can. We'll be glad to pick you up at the airport, no extra charge during our regular business hours. Um, like I said, truck fires right up, so no issues there. Or you may be like a lot of our customers that are from the Northeast or the Midwest and you buy from us because we've got great deals and rush free vehicles, but you may not have time to spend several days driving or flying in and driving home. So with that being said, don't let the idea of having to deal with shipping scare you off from the truck and don't let the idea of knowing what the prices you get if you look online for shipping quotes scare you off because depending on how much of a hurry you're in, we can save you as much as half off. The reason for that is most of these guys you find online aren't really shippers. They don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road. They're just brokers. And they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a deposit, but all it really is is their fee for arranging shipment for you. And they all use this one website that's not open to the public, costs a couple grand a year to be on it, to, to find the actual people who will haul your truck. Well, we jumped through all the hoops, so now we're on that website and we can offer you basically wholesale rates on shipping. So if you're interested, shoot me a text, 601-376-9869, or send me an email, and I will get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. And if you decide to go that route, basically the way it works is you pay us for the truck itself, either with a bank wire or a FedEx as a cashier's check. And once we receive it, we post it for shipment and we send you the title and the other paperwork. So uh, once we post it, we just sit back and wait to hear from somebody that can that can come get it. Uh, the average is three to five days. Sometimes it's a little longer, sometimes it's quicker, but that's the average. And if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So like I said, shoot me a text or an email with your zip code to discuss that. And even if you aren't our customer, for $50, we'll arrange it and ship it for you. But we'd rather you be our customer and we'll do it for free. We've done it hundreds and hundreds of times. Never had any issues. So like I said, if you're interested, shoot me a text and uh, we can talk about it. If you want to know what it takes to buy it, call me. Uh, you have any questions about 6 O's, about the leads, any of that stuff, give me a call, 601-376-9869. The one thing I want to show you before I go, because we've been driving nearly 10 minutes, you can see the dash, no lights lit. You know, it's easy to hook your scan tool up and kill a warning light and then say, oh look, no lights. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then as soon as you go to driving, those lights are going to come right back on. So I'd like to show the dash after we've been driving just so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit. So anyway, if you have any other questions, give me a call, 601-376-9869, Dan Dale, Jackson, Mississippi, 2003 Ford F-250 Lariat, FX4, super nice truck clean truck ready to go thanks again for watching our videos we do appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson Mississippi thank you so before I go in case anybody asks this little knob here no not a tuner um, I 
think it had an amp or something in it at some point, and that was to crank it up and down, but it's gone now, so nothing to worry about, no issues, thanks again.